about to introduce my next guest. Say hi to celebrity psychic Thomas John. Hi, I'm Thomas John and I'm a psychic medium. Hi. Hey, you're a psychic and a medium? Yes, I am. What the hell is the difference? <laughs> um, a psychic is someone who sees stuff about the future and a medium is more someone who actually talks to people that have passed away and have messages. And you can do both? I can do both. That's hot. <laughs> Our segment producer, Jesse Green, also says he is a skeptic, but open to the idea. So we also had him meet with Thomas. I see a couple things would work for you, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting more drawn to like family, relationships. Where is your dad? He's passed okay. away. Okay. I feel this is your dad that's here. I want to go like this with your dad. Did he, did he, did, what is this? And I want, a beard. Okay. He yeah. always wore a beard. Yeah, because I want to go like that. Always wore a beard. And crazy hair, and I see the letter S. And then there's an A. Who, who is that? My brother's name is Sam. Okay. I think that he wants to bring him up. Is he somewhere else? Because I'm seeing. Yeah, he's in, uh, okay, he's in okay. New York. He just says to stay, you know, stay in touch with him. He wants you to stay in touch with him. Who's got the birthday in October? Is that your brother? <laughs> my brother. Okay, so just he's bringing up that too. Who's Bill? Bill's my dad. That's your dad, okay. And also there's some connection to the sixth with your dad or the sixth month or June or what's there? Yeah, he passed in June. He passed in June. Okay, because something about that's being brought up. Well, I feel he's definitely around you. That's incredible. Okay, good. I'm glad. I was blown away. He was so accurate. I mean, he was spot on with every single thing that came to him. Welcome to the show, Thomas John. So, Thomas, let's, let's start off by asking it. What is it you do? I give guidance to people about the future or about the past or people that have passed or different areas of their life. And is there a V name? Who's the V name? Victoria, my daughter. Okay, your daughter. I'm getting a really weird name. L U Z or something? Who's that? Lucinda, my, uh, my oldest daughter. Is there a D? I see yeah. the letter D. I just saw a D. See, no, when you're Destiny. open to things, Destiny. when you have... He just mentioned all my girls. <laughs> I Destiny saw D. Yeah. That's nice to meet. Stop. Thank you so much. It was such a pleasure. <laughs> wow, it's nuts. Like, you just said all that. You're like, this is all the stuff that's happening right now in my life. My man. That's right. I love okay. it. Oh my God, this guy's great. He's just telling me he's, he's, he, he loves all the kids. And he said that he's also with your son who passed. Okay. You have a son that's passed as well? Okay, I'm sorry, honey. But he said that he's with the son. So um, he said, don't worry about the son because the son's okay. Was he very young when he passed? I felt a young energy from him. But he's with your parents now, and he's he's able to be around you and, and stuff, okay? I just want to tell you that, okay? I'm going to give you a hug. So when people come to a reading with me, they can expect to get information about their lives, uh, maybe their career, their future, their love life. They can also expect to hear sometimes from people who have passed away. Um, I would say the best way to prepare for a reading is to just be open-minded and to suspend judgment, either that you um, believe or that you don't believe, and just to allow what comes through and then make your decision based on that. Okay, so we have you here today, and I think that some members of our audience are interested to see how this works, as am I. Sounds good. So I would love to invite you to read some members of our audience. I guess you're going to stand up and sounds go over good. there, and yeah. you just kind of take it away. All right, okay, audience, here good. comes Thomas. Now, did he have Alzheimer's? Um, yeah. Okay, because he's talking about like not being clear at the end, but he just said that hit your love, your mom's love, your do your daughter's love. You have a daughter? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, all right, your daughter's love that helped him stay here. He's saying. Okay. Now, do you have the paintings, or who has the paintings? He wants to know about the paintings or something like that. We all have some. Oh, you all have the paintings. Yeah. These are things he would do and stuff. Yeah, he was okay. Artist. I see your grandpa in a blue shirt for some reason. Is that some blue? Yeah, I see like a blue kind of button-down shirt. Like, was he losing his hair? Nope. Glasses? <laughs> yeah. Okay, did you get the dog checked? The we brown got... and white dog? What's the, your mom's My brown mom and white dog? My mom has a new dog, yeah. Huh? Yeah, she has a new dog. Brown and white? Yeah. Okay. It's crazy. It needs to get it needs to get something checked. Are you changing the diet? It's not scary. You just have to like listen. Yeah, something about his diet needs to change. I feel Jared is gonna win that. Jared Leto. So why believe this guy? Well, last year, two days before the show, he predicted this would happen. I saw a woman 
um, yeah. with lighter air, like tripping or something. So the reason why he thinks we'll hear Jared's name called on Oscar night? I just see him being up there, so I feel he's going to win it. I also feel that it's the more striking performance. I did predict that Jonah Hill was going to get nominated, but I don't see him winning. Today we are excited to have a special guest in studio with us, a guest psychic, that is. He predicted Whitney Houston's death. He predicted Jennifer Lawrence winning the Oscar, but her also tripping up the stairs to get that Oscar. See, that's impressive. Here he is, Thomas John. Hey, Thomas. Hi, thanks for having me. Hi. Thanks for coming in. I see a male that's passed away for you guys. Is there, is there a husband or a boyfriend? or I, I'm seeing I, his energy comes for you. And um, do you connect at all with the name Michael? Michael, who's that? My husband. Is he crossed over? Okay. I just want to say he says to just send you all his love. And, and there... Why am I seeing a vehicle? Is there anything with the cars? That'd be me. That's, that's uh, like a profession thing or a yes. hobby? Okay. That's something that he, he and you have a connection with. I feel like there's, there's a... Um, he has a lot of regrets with the way he handled things. Um, he, he said that... He wasn't a very emotional person sometimes, and he just regrets that he wasn't a little bit more sensitive with you or a little bit more, he's very, very proud of you. Did he pass suddenly? Yeah, because I really feel there's like, I see him and then there's a blackness very quickly, so I'm feeling like it's like he goes. Now, just to be sure, Michael is your husband? Yes, he was a police officer killed in the line of duty. I'm seeing a very, I'm seeing a little girl who's here, she's talking about, that she's very connected with, with black hair or dark, dark hair. Who is that? Uh, she was in the process of an adoption when she died. Uh-huh. My sister adopted Oh, so that's what she's talking about with your sister, yeah. She's very, very happy about that. She says that that means a lot to her. And she said that, she's helping her from the other side. She said she met the little girl's father who's passed, and um, she said that they, they actually kind of team up and help. And she said one day, she said one day your family will believe the stuff that you tell them because <laughs> she says that you feel her or you try to connect with her and they're like. <laughs> so the first time I ever saw a spirit was when I was four years old and I saw my grandfather. I, I was my dad's dad, but I had never met him before. Um, but I had seen him in pictures and stuff, and he started to tell me information about uh, messages that he wanted to give my dad and stuff about his relationship with my dad, that stuff that my dad had never told me before. So when you grew up, did your family kind of say uh, <laughs> no, or did they always believe you had some sort of, you know, some sort of gift? Right, you yeah, know, they didn't, they didn't really get it at first. Really? I mean, yeah, they, they, but they're fine with it now, but they definitely didn't get it at first. It and, was a different thing. So my parents were really scared by um, what I was telling them for religious reasons and they also just didn't want me to be different and they felt that um, I was bringing in like bad energy or that I was causing problems in my life and they didn't believe in it at all. People, a lot of people say, I'm not going to a psychic because I don't want to know anything bad. You, do, you normally don't. Well, I always say when you, if you leave a reading and you have more questions than when you came, it was not a good reading. Right, it wasn't a good reading, right? <laughs> so. I wouldn't say that the messages are ever negative, but they are sometimes very emotional, and especially people who have had, uh, you know, difficult or very traumatic situations, you know, their their messages may be very emotionally laden. They might want to apologize for something they did bad to you. They may want to apologize for taking their own life. There may be a sense of regret, but. Um, I always think that they're a, it's a positive healing experience. Does she have a difficult relationship with your father? Yes. Okay. But they're still. I mean, That's what I felt. She right. watches over him, but she's like, "Oh, that pain in the ass." <laughs> <laughs> Is there a Tommy? My brother. Your brother. Yeah, I can see her actually, and she's telling me. Um, she said it's. She said that. It's a myth that it gets easier. She said, you actually have been talking about how it gets harder as the time goes on. Yes, I have. And she said that, um, do you carry her picture with you all the time? Yes, yeah, on my neck. Oh, she's talking about the picture, yeah. She said that sometimes you bring like a few of them with her, with, with it, yeah. Yes, I have them in my wallet. <laughs> okay, so she's talking about the picture. And she's showing me also, she's just telling me like, 
She knew people were around her at the end. She wasn't, you know, she was, she didn't feel alone. She said she didn't feel alone. She's funny. I felt like in her back when she wasn't sick, she was like really, 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 really yeah, funny. She, was. <laughs> she said that you knew she was transitioning because she was starting to lose her sense of humor a little yeah. bit. But she's she's definitely around you. She sends her love. She just said that she wants you to know when you start a family. Remember I said that. Do you have kids now? No. You're gonna. You're gonna have children. <laughs> no. She's telling me you're gonna have children when you start a family. She's gonna be there. Okay. okay? So I realize I have a very powerful, um, incredible gift, and I am a psychic medium, and I'm able to help people in a way that, you know, not many people can.